Hi, my name is Monique. I currently live in my 2022 Ford Transit Connect van in order to save money so that I can eventually buy land and live a simpler life. And I enjoy sharing snippets of my life with you all. This isn't scary. Oh my gosh, the lights are going out. So this was the first night of my road trip. I stopped at a rest stop in Georgia and luckily I made it right before the storm. It got really crazy really fast and several other vehicles started pulling into the rest stop in order to wait out the storm. I'm definitely someone who believes in signs and I started thinking, is this a sign for me not to go on this road trip? Thank goodness I didn't listen to that feeling because I'm still on the road trip as I record this voiceover and the trip has been amazing and nothing has gone wrong. Finally starting to calm down a little bit. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Out the windshield. I don't. I don't see any branches. Are you afraid, baby? No, it was just that sound. I. I think it was just thunder, but it sounded like a branch crackled uh, and fell and and hit my van. Right. I'm. I'm afraid of my van being damaged. That's it. Not of the you storm. Want to go park somewhere where there are no trees. No, no. Eventually, the storm left, and I decided to watch a movie and make something to eat and then just go outside and explore my campsite for a little bit because there were some beautiful trees in my area so I wanted to record them. The following day, I headed to Kentucky, but I made a quick stop in Tennessee to visit a beautiful place called Snooper's Rock. Hmm, this is gorgeous. I got to the campground just before dark and landed a private spot right next to the water. There were fireflies, I could hear the insects, I could hear the water, and I loved it. It was very, very peaceful. After spending a couple of days here, it was time to pack up my little home and head to my next destination. 
The campground was near a wildlife conservation area, so I decided to explore the next morning, and this place was gorgeous. I loved it. Mm. Did I just hear something in that water? Driving on this conservation area reminded me of a safari for some reason and I, every now and then I had this irrational thought that a lion was just going to jump out of the tall grass. Oh, you're still far away. Bunny rabbit, hop, do something. <laughs> it's so scared. Oh no. Like it's I, it's watching me. It's listening to me too. Its ears are moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it went. It made a run for it. Or at least for now anyway. Yeah, for now. This is what my van looks like after that bumpy ride. My curtain rod fell, my fan fell. <laughs> my gray water tank leaked. I can't tell, but there's water. There was a puddle there. Anyways, I have to clean all of that up. Oh, get out. Oh, great. Yep. That's all a mess from my gray water tank. Oh my gosh, you stupid fly. taking everything out of my cabinet so I can wipe it down. I have a very janky drainage system. This is not attached to anything. It has like a funnel that goes down the drain, that goes from the drain into this thing. My cabinet area is so tiny that the drain from my sink almost touches the floor of the cabinet so we had very limited options of what would fit underneath the drain and my dad found this at a lawnmower store maybe at some other point i will show you how it looks and if anyone has any suggestions then put them in the comments because you guys really helped me out with the suggestions for filling up my water tank so yeah if you have suggestions i'll show you my water drainage system at some point Maybe this video or the next video, I don't know. Anyways, this is what I have to do every time it gets full. I have to pull this from underneath the sink and dump it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Everything is clean. I dried off everything as much as I could. So now I think I'm going to... My camera had died after I showed you all that I finished cleaning. But now I am just getting ready to make my lunch for today. I'm driving to Kansas today from Missouri, from Missouri to Kansas. 
So yeah, I want to go ahead and get my lunch ready. So this is just Brussels sprouts and yellow squash. The squash is from my parents' neighbor's garden. And those are black bean patties. And then I'm gonna have some rice with it. I have some brown cooked rice that I froze and kept in the freezer and I thought it out yesterday. So I'm gonna have rice, black bean patties, and Brussels sprouts with yellow squash. <laughs> that might sound gross to people, I don't know, but I'm excited for lunch and I'll probably have some hummus with it or avocado or some kind of creamy something as a sauce. I'm about to hit the road. I'm gonna have this for breakfast. I'll probably have it with some mandarin oranges. This is my lunch. It's some toast with avocado and cucumbers. And this one is toast with red pepper hummus and cucumbers. And then I had some garlic pepper seasoning that I just put on top. I haven't purchased bread in years. Like I don't buy bread because it hurts my stomach so I don't really eat it that much. But I missed bread, I was really missing bread. And I heard a lot about this Ezekiel bread. Some people who have gut issues said that the Ezekiel bread doesn't hurt their stomach that much. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Um, I had some last night and I don't, I didn't feel too much pain afterwards. So we'll see, but I'm excited to eat bread. <laughs> Halfway through the driving, I stopped at a random Wells Fargo and had lunch and relaxed a little bit before finishing the drive. Okay. I really enjoy traveling slowly like this. Growing up, my family and I traveled a lot and we would book it to our destinations. We would drive at least eight to 10 hours a day in order to get to our destination as soon as possible. So this is a nice change. Once again, I landed a beautiful private spot right next to the water. It was so peaceful. And within about 30 minutes to an hour of parking and getting my campsite set up, a bunch of ducks came into my area. I'm just craving some cold orange juice. It's so hot. It was hot on the drive here. Can you even hear me with <laughs> the noise of the bugs? I love it though. This is one of my favorite noises on earth. The sound of insects.
nightfall at this campground was magical. Look at the moonlight glistening off the water. <laughs> I have already planned to come back to this place. I'm new to camping, but right now, this is number one on my camp list. I don't know where it will be in the future the more that I camp, but right now it is number one and I cannot wait to come back. I was here for three days and I spent most days either lying on this mat or sitting in my camp chair watching the water and the animals. There were so many animals. There was a fish that jumped vertically out of the water to catch an insect. I saw little birds dipping in the lake to get sips of water. It was just magical. I love this place. <laughs> My last day there, I decided to drive a little ways to go look at bison. I only saw one. There were more, but I could not find them and it was too hot to look for them. But I did see some dung beetles and it sounds kind of gross, but I've seen dung beetles so many times on various animal shows. So it was pretty cool to see them in real life. Ooh, you guys fly? I forgot about that. Mm -mm. Even though I didn't see any more bison, I'm really glad that I went because it was yet another beautiful place for me to explore. I just got back from looking at the bison. I don't know where those bison were hiding, but it was way too hot to find out. <laughs> so. I just saw the one bison, which was great for me. I've never seen bison. I've never seen bison in real life before, so it was pretty cool. They look like beasts. They look a lot bigger than they do on Animal Planet. <laughs> I'm gonna be leaving this beautiful campsite tomorrow. I'm so glad I decided to stay here for three days. I was planning to stay here just one night, and I ended up staying three days because it was so gorgeous and so quiet. heating up a black bean burger to go on top of my salad. Lunch for the day. It'll go along with this, the theme of the day. One bison at the bison place <laughs> and a dried up waterfall at the waterfall place. <laughs> The waterfall was a bust, but who cares when you have this kind of campground to come back to. I spent my last day sitting in my camping chair, staring at the water and the animals, and just being so grateful to be there. The next morning, I left my beautiful campground and headed to the main destination of the road trip. So I will see you there in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs>
拜。